Hello, PO Sim viewers. This is Roscoe1337. Today I am narrating a battle between Zephyr and Extra Shine. It's a fourth gen overuse match, which don't really find a lot of good fourth gen overuse matches anymore. This was for the finals of a New Year's tournament, not for this year, but for 2011, which is long gone. But hopefully you guys do stay tuned for this because it was a really good match, really close. Definitely came down to the wire. Good plays on both ends, so let's get right into this match. Now, Zephyr's going to lead with his star me. Extra Shine's going to lead with his Breloom. And it's obvious his Breloom is Scarf, and Zephyr knows that as well as I do. And he's going to go into his Metagross to take the obvious C bomb, which only does 16%. So Zephyr is at an advantage here, free to go for any move he wants. Luckily, he does go for the right move, and he makes a really good play on the second turn. Earthquakes the Heatran switch and breaks the Sugar Berry and gets off a huge chunk of damage on that Heatran. Now, Zephyr's going to go into his Tyranitar just in case this thing wants to Fire Blast. Most likely, it will Stealth Rock, but it never hurts to be safe. So, Extra Shine does go for the Stealth Rock, and now he's going to switch out into his Breloom here. And... Zephyr's going to double switch out into his Rotom Wash on this turn, so double switch is starting kind of early here, and Rotom Wash does get hit by the Sandstorm first, so it's obvious this Rotom Wash is Scarfed. It is going to go for the Shadow Ball on this Breloom, and it's going to take off a big chunk of damage as Breloom does put this Rotom Wash to sleep, so a double switch on this turn is pretty obvious because Zephyr doesn't most likely doesn't want to really risk being trapped, so he goes into his Tyranitar on this turn. And Extra Sign is going to obviously switch out too because if he doesn't, he'll break Sleep Claws. And Extra Sign goes into his Heatran on this turn. He's just going to fire off an Earth Power, which does about 34%. And Tyranitar's special defensive sand boost is really helpful because that Earth Power pretty much does nothing, to be honest. So the score is 6 5 in Zephyr's favor as Zephyr does take out that Heatran with Tyranitar. Now, Zephyr makes another good prediction here. And. He does predict the super power on this turn. Because I'm pretty sure Extra Shine probably wanted to go for the Seed Bomb. But as we know, Zephyr does have that Metagross roaming around. So now Zephyr makes a pretty bad play here, as said by as said himself, that he shouldn't have gone in the Starmie, which I do agree with because the super power does a lot. Now, on this turn here, as you can see, Breloom has one attack left. And... Zephyr does choose to switch out into his Rotom Wash here, which wasn't too great of a move either because now it's, now it's very easy trap bait as this Breloom will die on the next turn. And a majority of 5th gen teams do have, I mean not 5th gen teams, 4th gen teams do have Tyranitar, so this Rotom Wash is very easy trap bait as you can see here. And Zephyr decides to just stay in thinking maybe he can wake up and get off a Hydro Pump on this Tyranitar, but unfortunately that is not the case. So Zephyr's Rotom Wash does go down. The score is 5-4 in Zephyr's favor. And now Zephyr's going to bring out his Metagross. And since this Tyranitar is more than likely locked into Pursuit, Zephyr is free to go for whatever move he wants to. And Exercise goes into Zapdos, while Zephyr chooses Meteor Mash as his move of choice to go for on this turn. And it does 30%. So it's definitely not like a Choice Bandit set or anything. It's more than likely a Stealth Rock set. Now, Zephyr does not switch out fearing a Heat Wave because I guess he's not scared of shit. So he's going to take that Thunderbolt and go for an Explosion and take out that Zapdos. So the score is now 4-3 in Zephyr's favor. And we got a double down here, so... Zephyr chooses to go out into his original lead, which was Starmie, and Extra Time is going to choose to go out into his Tyranitar, more than likely predicting Starmie switching, and seeing as how this Tyranitar does outspeed this Starmie, it is definitely a Choice Scarf set. So now we are got a 3-3 tie game here, and Zephyr goes into his Dragonite, which could be bad for Extra Sign, and he goes into his Suicune here. Now... Zephyr is free to go for whatever move he wants, whether it be Dragon Dance or Draco Meteor. And it, he does go for the Draco Meteor because he is more than likely a Mixed Knight, which is a really, really good poke, in my opinion, in Gen 4. Now, by Suicune's Leftovers going first, it's definitely an offensive coon because it has Hydro Pump as well. But Zephyr makes another good chin by staying in, and it's going to bite Extra Shine in the ass because... 
Superpower is not going to kill Suicune, but the Sandstorm damage will. So with Suicune down, the score is 2 in Zephyr's favor. And now Extra Time brings out an Infernape on this turn. And he does go for the close combat here. Now, as I don't see any Life Orb recoil on this Infernape, originally I was thinking it was a Choice Set. But I know it's not Choice Scarf, but he has two Choice Scarfers. So it could be a Choice Bandit set. And so Zephyr brings out the Tyranitar and Extra Shine's Infernape does go for a Mach Punch. So now I'm starting to think that this is potent this is possibly a Source Dance set with an Iron Plate. So now we see Zephyr's last. And it looks like the game is over here as in Infernape does go for the Fire Punch. But Bronzong does live now. I was a little curious as to what kind of zone this was, and it is a Trick Room zone, a Trick Room offensive zone, so this is still definitely anyone's game, and Extra Sign for the Monk Punch take it out, and it doesn't quite kill the Bronze zone, so Earthquake will be able to take it to Infernape, and we're tied at 1-1 here with four turn room left, and if you were paying attention, Extra Sign's last is a Tyranitar, so hopefully Zephyr is running zero speed IVs on his Bronze zone, which he is in Gyro Ball. Will Oko the Scarf Tar. So, definitely a great game. Congratulations to Zephyr for winning the New Year's Tournament of 2011. Definitely a really good game on both sides. Very entertaining battle. Very fun to narrate. So, definitely check out PO Simulator if this is your first time on the channel. We got some other good battles on the channel. Some really good editors, too. Good narrators. And, yeah, so like, comment, subscribe, and peace out, guys.